Well, geez, that certainly did not take long. Uh, we're going to talk about a coin that I had sold that realized a pretty decent amount of money. And then, within minutes, a, another person loaded up the same coin and pretty much duplicated my listing, which you can do. Oh, boy. Yep. Never ceases to amaze. Uh, counterfeiters will go to where the money flows. Uh, that's for sure. And um, error coins are not immune to this. Um, for as long as you can go back in time, uh, people have uh, made these ill-gained attempts to uh, to deceive the public. All right? Yeah, one, one thing that I remember from back in the day, this is one of the things that I first learned was that people were gold plating old coins to make them appear like that they were, you know, half eagles or eagle coins, you know, $10 face value coins back in the 1800s. So again, this is nothing new. People have been doing it for a long time. Just the fact that this new listing from, from a brand new seller loaded up virtually within 10, 15 minutes after I had sold my coin. Okay, and then during that time, the person that I know that I had sold the coin to, I do know the person because, uh, you know, I know him off of Facebook and a few other places, a very good guy, um, you know, great error collector, paid me within minutes. I mean, we're talking like two, three minutes. But yeah, we're going to talk about and see what's going on here. Again, the trend, sometimes it's not your friend till the end. And, uh... I am venturing to guess that this is not going to be something that's going to be ending anytime soon. But before we go ahead and jump into the uh, into the actual topic at hand, we have a little giveaway challenge, all courtesy of Jaw on YouTube. Uh, no, this is not a personal dig on Jaw because he's right. Uh, this is a uh, highlighted comment on one of my most recent videos. Well, I'm just going to say it's from yesterday. It's a video I uploaded a day ago from whence this one was uploaded. But yeah, I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard me go on and say, uh, 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 a lot of times. Dude, how many times are you going to say, uh? Uh, alliteration aside, because there's no, you know, question mark, I'm going to assume that that's a question. I will say, uh, as many times as I can just to get through the video. All right, let's be honest. I, I've, I've tried so hard to curb that. Um, it's a pet peeve of mine. It really is. And uh, sometimes when you're caught in mid thought, the word, uh, or lack thereof helps fill in that dead space between thoughts. All right. I just have a million things going on in my mind. Sometimes I can't cobble up the required kind of sequential order in which the thoughts in my head come out. And sometimes I'll use the word, uh. Oh. So, yeah, the giveaway challenge for this particular video. So, Ja, I'm pretty sure he's not, you know, related to Ja Rule or Ja Morant of the Memphis Grizz Grizzlies basketball team. Dude, how many times are you going to say, uh? If you guys are interested in the giveaway challenge, I'll, uh, I'll do a giveaway of a coin valued up to $40. Uh, it'll be randomly selected. All you have to do is take Jaws' comment and uh, go ahead and repost it in the comments below. All right. And uh, we will do a randomizer for for that. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a little blind giveaway challenge. So you guys better take advantage of that while you can. All right. So this is the coin right here that I had sold. All right. Uh, 2021 P die crack. K3 to K7 error, gem unk, Lincoln Scent, only one known, stage two. So this particular coin right here, and note the the wording that I use in this particular titled listing. Because this is going to be important for Mr. and Mrs. Scammer guy, or whoever that is. Um, that is going to be a huge red flag. All right. It's a very obvious flag, no doubt about it. <coughs> Excuse me. What makes this coin quite unique is it's the only known example to have 
the pre-cut die break stage of the crack that goes all the way through. Whereas some of the earlier stages, the stage one, that's what I like to call it, and that's what people have referred to it as, the cracks kind of end right here in the middle. Like you don't get the complete, complete line that goes all the way across in both areas. This area here that is cordoned off on this crack is going to eventually be the interior die break that pops off the coin. But this one right here, $405 is what I ended up selling this for. The money's going to go to a much bigger, better cause uh, later this summer. Uh, and in addition, um, I have a few other giveaways. Got, got to get ready for the holiday giveaway, right? Uh, you guys know that that's always a big event on my channel. So the holiday giveaway, uh, got, got to put together and cobble, you know, a few bucks together in this crazy inflationary world that we're living in. All right. So that's my coin right there. Uh, oh, and notice also the, uh, I used a, um, a ledger where I put the coin onto. So that's kind of how you have this pebbly textured surface that I'm sitting the coin on. Uh, it's very safe for the coin. It's, it's not abrasive or anything like that. Um, so that's the, the, uh, kind of like the leather ish faux leather texturing on the notebook. So there is a little bit of a close up of both sides of the coin. So that way you guys can see what this one looks like. Again, note where the crack is. All right. Where it begins, where it ends. K3, in case you guys are not aware, because someone actually reached out to me on eBay and said, we, what is this K, K3, K7 stuff? I've never heard that before. I think you're just scamming people to get more people to pay more money for your coin. And he even went as far as say, oh, that's a $10 error. The K positioning has been around for as long as the early American Copper Society has been around, okay, which is a long time. 1950s, 1960s, maybe even earlier than that. So it's just really coming down to education. I know about it, and so do a lot of other error collectors in the hobby. Knows about K positioning. So if you can imagine a coin being a clock face, right? A regular standard traditional clock face. You have 12 o'clock up here. And if we just count it in threes, you have three o'clock here, six here. And then finally, you have 9 o'clock here. So K3 would indicate the 3 o'clock position. K7 would be somewhere around 7 o'clock. So it's right beyond 6 and going to 7. So that's where the beginning point of the crack is, K3. And then K7 is the exit point right there. All right, so very attractive coin. It does have a little bit of a nick. Came right out of, uh, out of a bankroll that way. So it's just a contact mark. Not perfect, but it's only one known. All right. So here is the listing that popped up within minutes of my sale. There is your seller, Natalie 51, zero feedback. I mean, gosh, right? He's a reputable guy. Buy from him. He has tons of sales. But go ahead and take a look right there at the title of this listing. 2021 P die crack K3 to K7 error. Gem Unk, Lincoln Scent, only one known, stage two. That sounds awfully familiar because it is. It's my verbiage that I used in my listing. Um, and this, this guy is trying to get away with a quick sale. I sold my coin for $405. This guy's trying to piggyback off that sale, trying to sell this coin. At this point, if this is only one known, should it be the second example known if it was a legitimate error? Because you wouldn't you wouldn't say the only one known. My coin ended up with 500 views through the course of seven days, which you probably might as well just throw out every coin aficionado error specialist out there actually looked at that listing. So when this one pops up, there were people that just actually the buyer of my coin reached out to me and had sent me this this coin in the link. He's like, what about this one? I'm like, yeah, that thing's been scratched. That is an attempt to deceive a buyer that's looking to, uh, to own one of these after they had missed out on my listing. 
There you go. Buy it now. 240 bucks. And I guarantee you, someone hits the buy it now listing on this, they go ahead and check out, and they close their account. And that's it. eBay has no recourse. They can't do anything to recoup this money. Because people can come and go with new listings as they please. Or new accounts. All right? It's just things never change. That person might not be able in the future to open up their new eBay account using, say, the address that they use to register for this one. So that's kind of like the minor aspect of this whole thing as a seller is that you have you have a way of doing that because who cares? At the end of the day, you got your money. But yeah, this is uh, this sucks. I hate that stuff is going on like this. Um, obviously, look at this. This is not just some scratch. Look at the positioning of the scratch. K3 to about K7. The only difference is they kind of botched up the K7 because it goes through the VDB initials. But look how, how similar it is. Listed within 15 minutes after I had sold mine. Used and copied and pasted my same verbiage. And just so happened to put this coin up there. Here's another side-by-side. -side. Wow, the similarities is uncanny. So this is the type of practice that's going on out there in the counterfeiting world. I'm hoping to God that no one has actually hit the buy it now button to own that coin. Because that is a scratch. That is a scratch. All right, You don't see the displacement like you do here. You know, you don't see the you don't see the uh, the dual crack that goes in different directions and then meets up again at their originating crack. You just don't see that here. This is a this is a really bad counterfeit example, and they're trying to again deceive the public. So be on the lookout for things like this. Die cracks can be easily replicated with a with good scratches. You know, it's been tried and people have fallen for it. It's probably one of the easier errors to try and duplicate without actually having a crack on there just by uh, scratching the coin. Because based off of the lighting and everything like that, you know, you could, you could get pretty close to capturing about as close as you can to the original coin. This one right here, the scratch is obvious, but it's really not that good quality. But there are people, brand new, newer collectors in the error community, that could fall for something like this. Again, it, this is not coincidental. Or is it? You know? It, this is not a coincidence that this popped up. Because the money is so good for these 2021 die cracks and retain cud coins. So, where the money is, that's where there is going to be some sort of attempt to make about as close of a counterfeit as they can. Now, buyers, in hindsight, are protected. All right? They buy something, they receive it, or maybe the, the, the seller doesn't send it out at all and just keeps the money. But this is something right here where you can get your money back, and eBay is going to end up eating that amount of cash. Another thing to point out that I just recognize is the uncanny resemblance of the color of the background. While the texture is different from one to the other, they were trying really hard to be about as accurate as they can to my listing. Unfortunately, they failed miserably because we're talking about it here today. But there you go. That is your morning funny for a Saturday morning. I'm going to do the good old PCMR this afternoon. Uh, more than likely, you'll see my coin on the list because it's worth talking about. And um, yeah, that was a fun little conversation. You guys be very wary. All right. I want you guys to be cautious of what you're buying out there, especially for all the raw coins that exist out there. There's a pretty high likelihood that there's something going on with it if you don't know what you're looking at. It's really easy to deceive a lot of people because there are a lot more newer collectors in the hobby than there are old. All right. 
So that's going to go ahead and do it. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Make sure you put in Jaws comment at the bottom of this video. And then just do, you know, write out a separate comment uh, about, you know, the coin or whatever you want to do. So you can put two comments on if you want. It's going to help out with my algorithms tremendously. But we'll do a giveaway um, a week from today. So next Saturday, we'll, we'll go ahead and announce it. It's going to be a really nice coin as well. And also uh, join my TikTok. Uh, would love to uh, add a few more follows on there. We're trying to get to a thousand followers. I can't believe it's taking me this long, but you know, all good things come to those who wait. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this one. You guys have a pleasant Saturday. Get a little hunting in if you can, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next coin video. So long.